Howdy y'all and welcome back to another game with Ritterbug Gaming and this is 60 Seconds. Where we le last left off, we were actually already still already in a bunker. So we actually had everybody still there. I don't I think we had some that were injured or some or sick or something, just tired, I think and all. But where they had gone out and come back, but at least they came back. <laughs> Alright, so we need to take care of them and possibly, if we can, never feed the cat. Because once you feed the cat, it's game over. I know that much for a fact. <laughs> the cats just come in and swarm the home and then it's over. I do remember that from playing it before. Um, when we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We had started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope that they will get back to us. To our surprise, we found that Sherikov back in our shelter this morning. We're not exactly sure why or how it came back. Is it our good care? care it? What? A appreciates oh okay our kind hearts optimism or our stockpile of soup cans only time will tell we were so afraid for timmy but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now mary jane is pretty fatigued timmy is on his best behavior how long will it last dolores is quite calm given the situation ted is hungry all right so we're going to go ahead and take care of them because we just want to make sure that everybody's good for right now. And it doesn't look like they're injured, so we don't have to worry about that. But I don't think we have any types of medicine that we can give them. So, we've got Mary Jane feeling excellent, so might as well send her. Sometimes a sudden urge to play an instrument takes over us, to create beautiful sounds, to be shaped with a world around us, to sing and play, and have cute mutated animals come to our feet to listen, like a post-apocalyptic Snow White, shall we? I'm kind of afraid to ask what they'd be doing, or what they'd be calling, but should we risk it? Hmm, maybe we should. We'll find out what will happen. And then my animals come running. <laughs> Did it set off an animal alarm or something that we just don't hear? <laughs> Be careful what you wish for. After a few minutes of playing, a small group of mutated cracks in our walls and started moving to the rhythm of the song. They ran around in circles and shook their little antenna. It wouldn't would be adorable if they weren't so disgusting. What are we supposed to do with them now? Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today, and no trouble dared to cross her path. No news is good news. There is nothing new going on with Timmy. Everything seems okay with Dolores, and Ted's stomach is rumbling. Alright. I'm kind of getting worried about little Miss Mary Jane there. Alright, so... We should go on to the next day because I know we can ha handle another one. But we'll go ahead and send her. Well, it should be clear by now, so we shouldn't sit here with that. We'll give her a map so that way maybe she can find her way back. Because <laughs> I don't want to chance her running away and not coming back. So, is that a mutated bug? That looks like a mutated bug. A mutated cockroach? Uh, that's pretty disturbing. Do they all make noises? Was that a flaw? Oh my goodness. Okay, so we got two cans left. We have, it looks like, zero water left. Because, yeah, there's nothing left up there for water. Oh, goodness. Maybe she'll come back with some water. Let's hope, because she's the only resource we have now. Unless somebody comes with some water, maybe? Doubtful, but possible. 
All right. Curiosity almost killed the cat. Sharakov found a tiny wire sticking out from the ceiling and pulled it out. Plaster and debris fell on our table, topped off with a big meowing furball. What is this thing anyway? Nobody remembers it being there before. The cat might get angry if we take away the wire, so maybe it's best to leave it be. Or should we examine that wire? Hmm, I think... Wait, wait, wait. Um... Let's not... And just say we did. How about that? Because I don't want a chance pulling anything down on our heads. That might be a bad thing. Oh my goodness. What is that? Um, where did that go? Where'd that come from? <laughs> We've got you. Okay, this is already looking bad. I think we should all just bail. <laughs> we don't really want to risk pissing off Sharikov by taking its toy away. We've already gotten scratched for a lot less. We Let's just leave it be. That wire is probably useless. Tibby doesn't need much, but he should drink. Dolores will not last long without water. Ted is hungry. Ted should drink something soon. Time to ration supplies. It's not every day you wake up to a carnivorous plant trying to eat you. This is how our day started. Curse Mary Jane's plant and any gardening ambitions we had. Who would have guessed the seed would grow into a bloodthirsty demon? Damon. We need to get rid of it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that sounds pretty good right there. we got poison control to take care of that. Maybe it'll take care of the rat. Rock cockroaches too? No, it didn't. So, we just got to deal with a mutant cockroach? That's not pleasant. And what is that hissing sound? That we keep hearing. I don't know. But I'd like to know. And that... But that looks like it has water in it. Why was it on the floor? What were you thinking? Y'all look thirsty. Bug spray offense is the best defense. <laughs> Die, you plant mutant. Die. Shh. Phew. That was pretty terrifying. We should probably stick to soup cans instead of growing anything. The climate is definitely not suitable for any serious gardening. Minus one poison. Timmy's in terrible shape. We need to give him water. Now. Timmy has rested. <clears throat> Dolores would not survive without water any longer. Dolores is pretty fatigued. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grate and needs to get a drink right now. Okay, so I'd take it as time for water. And it doesn't look like anybody gets some except for, um, the dad. Because the dad's the only one we know we need to survive. So, we'll give him water and we'll give the rest <laughs> just food. They're going to die. I see it coming. We've got the mutated cockroaches. We just got rid of them big giant plant monster we had growing in the, over here. We are going to die in here. <laughs> we might as well just bail. <laughs> the funky roaches haven't really left us. To be fair, they aren't causing that much trouble. They even seem relatively friendly and curious. Just this morning, we, when we opened our eyes, we saw them standing on a perfect line right in front of us as if they're waiting for something. So what is the check mark or X for? Oh boy, this isn't going to be good. I'm afraid to hit the X, but I'm also afraid to hit the check mark because you never know what, what either one of them are for. I mean, we don't have anything to take care of them with, so what are we going to do? Just hit a check mark or an X on a page? Okay. We'll do it then. Day 31. I'm afraid to see what comes next. Shoo, vile creatures. We don't know what they want from us, but it's probably our precious soup. These insects can't be trusted. They disperse a little, but it seems we were stuck with them for now. Timmy's in terrible shape. We need to give him water. Now! Dolores will not survive without water any longer. <laughs> there isn't much going on with Ted. No trouble. Nothing new. No, Ted just got food and water. He's okay. <laughs> 
But the others aren't doing so well. Oh, what are we going to do? Hey, you guys, you want to go out? I think Mary Jane left because she understood what was going on here. <laughs> she knew there wasn't food enough for the three of you. <laughs> All right, well, I'll give them food one more time. Okay, Timmy's not doing great. It would be good to talk to him and cheer him up. Yes, talk to ch talk to Timmy. Please talk to him. You two aren't doing so great. We know. Oh, yeah. I saw that one coming. And the cat's just sitting there smiling. It's like, you got an open cat to sit there. Can I have some? I mean, I'm going to ask for it. Bring my buddies in. Take care of you. <laughs> If we only had a few drops of water, we could have avoided what happened. Dolores died of dehydration last night. Well, we know how long we can't last without water. <laughs> Lack of water drove Timmy insane. He opened the shelter door and ran away without looking back. He's not likely to return. Even a word or two might be enough to brighten someone's mood. Timmy seems to be better now. No new problems are troubling Ted this fine morning. Okay. No new troubles? I mean, there's two new bodies. Well, one. I don't know what happened to the other one. I think the cat might have eaten it. Could have been a possibility. Alarm. There's a group of people outside and they don't seem too friendly. We reckon we could recognize some of them. They used to be in our neighborhood. Watch. They don't sound too concerned with the well-being they of the of the neighborhood okay anymore but they are very serious about angrily waving their heavy flashlights we need to do something before they break in and take everything we have only thing I have left is a gun might as well put it to some use I'm the only one left <laughs> oh that oh that not looking good either. well I got an achievement for it, so that must be a good thing. <laughs> it's not surprising that a few shots were enough to send those cowards running. The question is, what happens if the rifle malfunctions or we use all of our ammo? We do hope it won't come to that, otherwise we might need to defend ourselves using knives and forks. Minus one gun. Well, it looks like it happened. Mine is one gun, and all Ted wishes for are a few drops of water. Hey, Ted, I hate to tell you. We out of water, buddy. Completely out. I mean, there is none left. And Mary A. Jane ain't coming back. We welcomed a probably crazy supposed scientist into our shelter today. It turns out that Shakarov is not only an incredibly ill-mannered pet, but also the scientist's heavily valued assistant, who calls he, who he calls Dr. Sharikov. The cat's disappearance has left the doc struggling with his latest project. He expects us to help him out as compensation for keeping his helper away. The cat didn't care. It clearly wants to stay. The doc might be really crazy, but maybe his knowledge is something that can help us out in the long run. Never heard of taking on one more. Oh, oh, I see his doc friend. Yeah. At least I know it's not one extra mouth to feed. Um, I mean, if, I, I don't know if you want to consider it Dolores one or not. I mean, she's still technically down there. I can still feed her, maybe. I don't know. Okay, Mary Jane was supposed to be back in a few days. It's been too long. We fear something bad has happened to her. Oh, I'm pretty sure of it. I mean, after everything that happened in here, she probably got away scotch-free. Except for maybe a few scratches. That's it. Not too sure about the um, other two we had in here. Or the last one that's left that didn't run away. So, we're going to see how this goes. Hey, hey, Ted, you want to go out? <laughs> You're the only one left. I hate to tell you, but... I guess I'll be in here. Along with the cat. Let's see what happens. Let's see if you come back. <laughs> I doubt you will. 
I don't know what you'd be bringing the food back to. Run! Run while you still can! Take you the- this? I wish I could use your other hand because then I'd take the mask too just to be able to say something. What does it matter? You're already obviously exposed to something. I mean everything in this room is. I mean everything. Okay. Go. Run with the wind. Fly away. <laughs> the end. <laughs> yep. That's what I expected. Somehow. Hey, do I get a letter? Oh, is it a book? The end. Yes. See, nice. The big poster on the sheltered entrance claims the bunker is now the property of the government. Well, that's property not the first nor the last time the government screwed us over. We survived for 40 days. <laughs> All of us are safe. <laughs> that's too good. All of us are safe? No, I think only two came out safe. <laughs> Oh, 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 that's only day one. Okay. <laughs> okay, yep. Yeah. The government took over our shelter in the end. That's a wonderful ending. Bravo to the creators. I was driven away. Yep. My bunker was so terrible, I had to run away and make them flee. Flee! Flee the bunker! <laughs> Just run! <laughs> All right, guys, if you like this video, like, hit that like, share, and subscribe, and turn on the bell for the notifications, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!